Hi, this is John Nix. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to get some basic vibrato information from Voce Vista 3.3. This is the version that uh, comes with uh, the Resonance in Singing book that Donald Miller sing, uh, sells. And uh, so very quickly, we'll kind of go through this. Um, so first of all, you get open to um, kind of fairly standard display. Um, this is where you have a real-time spectrogram, and I'll unfreeze it here. So real-time spectrogram running in the lower left-hand corner, uh, the audio envelope in the uh, upper left, and, and the spectrogram in the lower left, and then the real-time um, spectrum running on the right-hand side. So, you've got a sample, and we want to determine the vibrato rate. So, pretty simple procedure. So, I'm going to sing a little bit, and I'll show you how to do it. So, that should be plenty long enough. Uh, a good thing about doing vibrato stuff is you don't want to start right at the beginning. You can notice that... Um, you know, it takes uh, probably, yeah, you know, it takes uh, a portion of a second there for things to kind of stabilize. So a good rule of thumb is go in um, 500 milliseconds or half a second. Okay, so we're going to, you know, assuming we started here at about 1501, so we're going to start, yeah, right around, say, 2000 here. Okay, and then you just hit Control and Shift and click and drag, and you get uh, that area highlighted. Now, of course, I was singing fairly low in my range. It's hard to get around. Um, what you're going to end up doing is selecting one of these harmonics. I'm going to have to pick a fairly low one um, simply because of the pitch I was singing. Uh, and so you might be able to see there on the screen that I'm clicking and dragging and highlighting. Uh, that's going to be my fourth harmonic. And so I go to this box, uh, select harmonic, and I click until it's indicating the fourth one, and then I tell it to plot. And so now we're getting kind of a, a blown up version of what we just saw before and then we move these cursors just by clicking and dragging them to the endpoints. Although if I really wanted to do a better job of things here I would I would end there because we're kind of at the crest of a vibrato cycle here and we want to end at the same point. And then we're just counting so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13 vibrato cycles shown. And now we can read off. It's got um, my average pitch, which was right around 200 hertz. Shows a maximum and minimum uh, vibrato rate there, 4.9 uh, hertz, or 4.9 cycles per second. The extent, uh, 97 cents. Okay, so there's 100 cents in a, in a semitone. All right, and um, that's basically the procedure. Now, just to backtrack a little bit, of course, you can see since I was singing a fairly low frequency that um, get up high, and it's very hard to to get in between uh, the different um, harmonics. And uh, of course, the higher the frequency, the fundamental frequency is, the farther apart the uh, the harmonics are going to be. And ideally, you want to choose as high a harmonic as possible just to get better resolution. So let's try it one more time, and I'll I'll sing in falsetto up an octave or so. So again, following our same procedure here, I'm going to skip in really to where just the vibrato started. And again, click. I'm going to do Control Shift click and drag and 
see now I'm able to go further up so before I just did the fourth harmonic but I could go way up here I can go to that harmonic which is the one two three four five six seven eighth harmonic the reason we want to pick a high one is um, you're going to get better frequency resolution um, if you choose the higher harmonic. All right, so selected harmonic, we can scoot that on up to the eighth one and say plot. And uh, here I'm going to go to the trough of this cycle and to the trough there. Okay, and so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cycles shown there. Okay, um, and it's showing my average frequency there, 423 hertz, so about uh, G sharp or kind of on the low side of uh, A4, maximum and minimum, and then. 4.6 hertz, so I've got a rate, and then 74 cents for the extent. Now, it's important to realize um, with this version of Voce Vista that you're not getting a, a mean value, you're not getting a mean extent, so, you know, where it's measuring the extent on this cycle, and then the extent on this cycle, and the extent on this cycle, and so on, and giving you an average of that. Um, it's really going from lowest uh, point so 404 hertz to the maximum 443 and then uh, displaying that in terms of cents again there's a hundred cents in a semitone so you're getting kind of a, a, a maximum extent not a mean extent so that's this version of Voce Vista and in the next video I'm going to show you how to do it uh, there's another version of Voce Vista, which you may or may not have, uh, Voce Vista 3.4.3b, and it allows you to do more things with uh, measurements of vibrato. So, thanks a lot, and stay tuned for that next video.